Dearest Alyssa, how have you been? I think of you every day. It seems such a long time since you started your life at boarding school. It was after your beloved grandfather went missing while traveling three years ago that I sent you away to boarding school and told you not to come back for at least six years without giving you any explanation. It must have been very painful for you and I'm sorry, but it was for your own protection. Now, your 15th birthday is approaching and I fear your life may be in danger more than ever before. Please go into hiding until your 15th birthday has passed. I know that what I am saying will make no sense to you, but please do as I tell you and hide as quickly as you can. Your loving mother, Nancy. Mum. Alyssa, you're wanted on the telephone. It's your mother. Hello, Mum? Hello? Are you there? What's wrong? Answer me. Hello? Hello? Mum? Hello? Mum? Mum? Answer me. Mum, I'm back. Excuse me, are you one of the lodgers? Yes, I am. Oh, I'm Alyssa, Nancy's daughter. Um, do you know where my mother is? Your mother has gone out. That was early yesterday morning. Huh? She mentioned that she would not be coming back for some time. What? She was wrong. She won't be coming back at all. So it's just you. You are all alone in this world now, little girl. <laughs> My sweet Alyssa. I've been waiting so long for this moment. Get away from me! <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Clock Tower 3. As usual, this will be a blind let's play. That means that I have no clue what's going to happen and I have never played this game. I must say, that was a bit of an odd introduction. I mean, Alyssa isn't doing really the smartest thing here. So, I guess we should follow the old creepy man that has apparently been waiting for this all his life and then just walked away. Okay, what is this? A diary lies open with an incomplete entry! You can save the game here. Oh, okay, that's fine, that's fine. Nothing happened yet to warrant that. Hmm? What's this? A strange pattern adorns the jar. It's brimming with fresh water. That's good to know if you ever get thirsty or something. This mansion is gigantic! Alyssa must have a killer inheritance! So, uh, Alyssa, you, you, uh, attracted to YouTube Let's Players? I'm not saying I'm a gold digger or anything! It's filled with art and antiques. Grandfather used to collect that kind of thing. Grandfather's room, he's not here now. It's been three years since he left. When is he coming back? What I want to know is how Alyssa got to the conclusion that when her mom told her to specifically not come home and go into hiding, she thought that coming home was the best option. I mean, what was going through her head? Seriously! Silly Alyssa. Well, let's follow him. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? He just looked very ominous and scary. He couldn't possibly be a villain. What on earth? Whoa! The hell? 
The panic meter! Whenever this is feeling physically or emotionally threatened, the panic meter rises. Oh, I remember this. Well, I read about it. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Basically, don't get your stress meter up or she'll freak out. Well, there's a new fangled security system thing that makes things explode. What the... Well, that's pretty random, but it's okay. We'll take it. We'll take it. Let's go inside. The wall behind the fireplace is falling apart. Who would have thought there was a hidden room in here? How how I go in? Whoops. Oh, there we go. There's a button. Oh, balls. <laughs> the hell? Okay, I'm not sure what to be surprised about. The fact that this statue plays organ, the organ, or the fact that it's bleeding out of its eyes. Whatever. That looks like a bottle and a letter down there. The sacred bottle. Okay. Nancy's letter. Oh, it's from Mum! Dearest Alyssa, I wanted nothing more than for you to live peacefully. But if you are reading this now, you must have come back to the house. You stupid, stupid bitch. For your protection, I am giving you some advice as well as instructions on how to use this bottle of holy water. Exorcism! If you are threatened, sprinkle some holy water on your assailant will cause them to halt temporarily. Destroying sigils to break the seals that prevent access to certain places, sprinkle holy water on them. Oh, so that's what that thing was. Replenishing holy water. Always remember that the holy water you have is a limitless supply. You can refill your bottle from sacred jars or lion drinking fountains. Sentimental items and spirits. A person who has died of an... Un okay, this is not stuff you need to know, basically. This is just a tutorial. Lastly, this is all my fault, that I will do my best to protect you. Please remember that I love you more than anything else in the world, and I always will. Mum! Thank you, Mum. I don't understand why you couldn't have just, you know, left the letter and the bottle in here. Why you'd have to make a statue that decapitates itself, I will never understand. But who am I to judge Mum? Okay. I guess we now have the power to go through that door. Apparently I went through the wrong door. Not that door, game. This door. Take that door! Okay, cool. This place is immaculately clean. This looks like there was a seal here, but it's gone. Or is that a different kind of seal? Someone's behind the door. Someone I don't want to know! Jeez! Oh, my mom's room! <laughs> Let's go look for her naughty toys. Must have left in a hurry. The wardrobe door is still open. Okay, okay. There's a letter there. I know, but what if there's something interesting? The three-way mirror has been folded up. Who is that in the portrait? It's been there forever. Okay, fine. Let's just read the boring letter. Or book, or whatever this is. Apparently it's a family portrait. I am blind! I came back home, 
I know you told me not to, but I couldn't help it. I'm so worried about you. Where are you, Mum? I keep doing that. Who's doing that? It's that creepy dude we saw. All right, I'm not going to lie. This is one of the most bizarre game intros I've seen in a long time. I mean, I've only played the very first Clock Tower. It had to do with a serial murderer chasing you around, but this is like interdimensional weird stuff. Like, dude! I'm a rebel, I'm going this direction. Oh, apparently this was the correct direction. Okay. Oh! just happened we're I mean wow <laughs> um, I don't know how we got here through the power of magic and reading my mother's diary, I got transported to... War Tornistan! Oh, whoops. Oh, it's, it's a telephone booth, Doohickey. Something's holding the door closed. What is this? Christmas Eve, piano con 1942? Well, apparently we we're transported to the clutches of World War II. Because that's what happens when you read your mom's diary, you nosy little bastard. Are you okay, sir? You don't look too well. Uh oh. What the balls? What's the Kusabi doing here? The ring, give me back my ring. I don't have a ring, lady! You're not that bad. Can I talk to you? That explosion, but he looks as though he was burnt by something. An empty ring box. Did someone steal a ring from him? Well, whatever. I'm going to see what's inside here. Engage with... Well, that's really convenient game! I guess this is a sort of a tutorial. Yeah, spiritual healing. Different kind of sexual healing. When you find a sentimental item that belongs, blah blah blah, bring it, bring it back to the... Bring it back to the person. Okay, that seems simple enough. Here, you can have your stinking ring back. That is not what I meant to do! Sorry! <laughs> You're silly. Now, how do I access my inventory? Yeah. 
Yeah, that's what I thought. You skedaddle. What did you drop? A sigil stone. I don't know what that does, but I'm sure it's nice. Ah, oh, this must be the lion fountain. Mum warned us about. I'm gonna save as well, because... Reasons. So we're somewhere in Europe in World War II. That's always a pleasant place to be. I mean, you couldn't have picked a better destination. I can hear a piano. Is it coming from the hall over there? Well, there's an item down there. I want it. Well, this game is certainly starting on a really, really bizarre note. <laughs> Get it? Note? Like, like, like musical note? Because someone's playing the piano. <laughs> it's a pun! It's a play on words! Let me explain to you why I'm so funny! Apparently, whoever's playing the music hates my puns and just stopped playing in disgust. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Let's go. No! No, 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 stay away. What the fuck? I thought you were nice. Why are you chasing me? I wasn't worried. Stay away from me. Jeez, what's wrong with you? What is this? A gold fountain pen. What do you use that for? I want to check the corpse. <laughs> Noob! Cover a victim's belongings. The entry, my darling, must be addressed to her fiance. Is it the pen? Please say yes, otherwise I don't know what to do with it. Is that blood or rust? Probably both. Yeah, that's what I thought. Go away, you silly person. Invisibility band. Well, that could be useful, I guess. Being invisible has its pluses. I know, it's snowy. Did I say something that insulted you, piano player? This is a really gloomy area. Norton's Taylor! There's a sigil in there. Here. What's inside? So far the game has been pretty tame. No, not a single enemy has shown his face. I don't even know what kind of enemies to expect. Lavender water. Isn't that like in Haunting Ground where you drink lavender water and your doohickey goes down? By doohickey, I mean your panic. I think that is important to cl clarify because people don't understand what doohickey means. I'm apparently taking a shower. This is a hiding spot, isn't it? I fear for my life now. It probably means something horrible is about to happen. Oh, come on! Son of a bitch. I know there's more for the, ab about the house to explore, but I, just, I want my sigil broken! We'll come back here when we have some more water. We don't have any water right now. Let's see what's over here. Maybe we can get into that opera hall. Well, why am I assuming it's an opera? It's a concert hall. Oh, there's a fountain! There's a fountain! Now, there's two ways we can go. We can go through here. The music is getting louder, and it seems to be like we're getting closer to the concert hall. Or we could go back and explore that area. At 
leaflet. Christmas Eve. Piano concert. There's a sign pinned to the wall. Entry by invitation only. The management. Fucking management! I guess I need to find some sort of invitation for the ghosts to let me in. Well, that's really unfortunate. Probably going to find it somewhere in that other house that I skipped on exploring. Uh, stupid management. Keeping the small guy down. Stick it to the man! By going in without an invitation, because I'm such a rebel. Was well, there anything over here before we go inside? Nope, nothing. Well, this should be fun! Especially since they gave us uh, a hiding spot, this means that something horrible is about to come through here. Take that door. Nobody messes with my squirt bottle. Okay. This is rather pleasant. These records are quite old. Cheap try game. Cheap try. Fatal Frame 2 has prepared me for all sorts of shenanigans. The poker is still stuck in the pile of firewood. Somebody must have been here. This must be the owner of the house. He's so cute. Hmm, there's a key next to it. The red drawer key. Well, I'll keep that in mind when we find some red drawers. Thank you for existing, room. Now to explore the rest of the house. What's in here? Is that blood? It's locked and will not open. Okay. There's blood everywhere. Oh boy! This should be good! This should be fantastic, actually! Well, nothing bad happened, so I mean, how, how bad could it be? Oh! There's the red drawer. Christmas tragedy. Young pianist brutally murdered. Christmas Day, 1942. Paul Mall, May Norton, age 12, was found murdered in Norton's The Tailor. She was discovered by Norton family nanny, Jane Stride, who returned home to find the victim unconscious, bleeding from the head. An autopsy has revealed that it was an instantaneous death caused by a blow to the skull with a heavy, blunt object. No suspects have been named. The victim had taken part in the 15th annual piano concourse at the Victoria Hall in Kensington the previous day. Oh, so this takes place in Britain! A consummate pianist, Miss Norton was wildly tipped for first prize, but an unfortunate error in her performance prevented her from taking the crown. A sad story. May had been living in at home alone since her father, William Norton, a serving officer, returned to the front in July. Well, that's sad. So her father was an army dude, and she had to live by herself. Oh shit! What the fuck? Who is that? Oh! Yeah, no shit you killed her! Yes, that is my name! Oh shit, evade points and hide points. Evade points and hide. Well, I guess I understand that can only be used once, blah 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 blah. What? I did not do that on purpose! I did not do that on purpose. Uh, can I open this thing while he's waiting there or am I going to die? What's inside? Take it! 
May's room key. May has a room? What, she thinks she's too good to sleep in the garage with the car? Um, hello, good sir. What, what, why is that door closed? No, no! I wasn't worried, what a noob face. Um, um, you're fast, dude. One moment! Shit, what do I do? Uh, I locked myself in- Oh, he can't come in. I wasn't worried. Invita- Well, we got the invitation. How on earth are we going to get out? And can we defeat our foe? The answer to these questions and more in the next part. Oh!